Well, Indiana finally opens the 2020 football season tomorrow, but because of the COVID pandemic, there won't be fans in the stadium. As Pat Bean reports, the university is trying to make the game day experience feel as normal as ever for the players and fans watching on TV. The leaves are changing colors as fall settles on the Midwest. Normally, Indiana would be at the halfway point of its football season by now, but these are not normal times. Because of COVID-19, the Big Ten delayed the start of the season to this weekend and put restrictions on game days. That means a shortened season, no fans in attendance, and no tailgating outside the stadium. We're going to do our best to, to, to prevent large gatherings outside of the stadium as well, and all of our gates will be manned. It will be impossible to get into parking lots without a, without a pass. Inside the stadium, Indiana will shoot for a game day atmosphere even without fans. There will be an intro video that they run out to. Uh, there will be a national anthem played before the game. There will be, um, you know, uh, graphics on the video board after a touchdown is scored. IU will play traditional sounds such as the Jaws theme used on third downs and scoreboard videos of the Marching 100 and cheerleaders. Crowd noise provided by video game giant EA Sports will be pumped in. When and how to use the crowd noise can be something of an art form. You'd see a play developing and you'd think, oh, it's going to go 50 yards and then uh, the running back might fumble the ball and suddenly the momentum shifts instantly, but yet you're, <laughs> you're still playing crowd noise and everybody's excited and you realize, uh oh, I'm in trouble. The Big Ten is allowing family of staff and players to attend. They will be joined by fan cutouts in the north and south end zones. Indiana is selling the cutouts and has various promotional tie-ins available depending on the package fans purchase. You know, we've got probably close to 400 seats in the north end zone. So, you know, if we can fill three quarters of that, that'd be awesome. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Pat Bean.